Hey, how are you doing today, Bob folks here for the Gilly Glue? Well, here we are in the library, the office, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but this is a, a big array of my books here and stuff that we uh, get involved in and study quite a bit uh, all the time. And that's why I'm in here this morning or, well, this afternoon or whatever time of day it is. <laughs> We're just uh, taking some time uh, to reflect on where we are in terms of the season for birding. And obviously we're coming into the very first part of October, today being October the 1st, and uh, lots of changes have been taking place. Migration obviously is uh, winding down in terms of birds leaving. Uh, we certainly have some geese and some other things around. We haven't really seen any northern ducks here just yet to, in any numbers, uh, but it's being suggested uh, by the people, and particularly there's a finch forecast. You, some of you may have heard me talk about it before. Um, it's a very accurate uh, forecast in terms of birds moving from the boreal forest down into this part of Ontario uh, based on the cone crop or the seed crop in the boreal forest. So on the birch trees, um, any of the pine, spruce, all those different uh, trees that produce the little seed crop, uh, seed cones. And based on that food availability is dependent upon the birds that move down from the boreal forest in the wintertime. So just the other day actually I had some uh, sort of new time birders into the shop and uh, we were talking about that and uh, they actually questioned whether it, you should have a feeder out in the wintertime. And of course we went into a whole other conversation about a lot of different things but as we, d we know we get birds in summer we don't get in winter but we get birds in winter we don't get in summer. And this year is going to be a finch, what they call a finch eruption. And what that means is that because the boreal forest food supply is scarce, we're gonna see all of those birds down here looking for food. So by all means, get the finch feeders cleaned up, start getting them filled. As you saw at the start here, there's a, we have siskins here already. Uh, the blue jays, uh, people, just by people coming into the store, they've certainly talked about the fact that there seems to be a lot of blue jays around so they are also you know going to be in need of food and so it's in the finch forecast and we're gonna we'll put the the link below but in that finch forecast it's uh, suggesting that the food source is going to be very very low this year so the birds are going to rely on us not only for their food but the water so we need to get the water out there this winter as well as the food but get your finch feeders ready because the siskins and the red poles and all those guys along with our american goldfinch uh, house finch purple finch uh, and then of course the chickadees and all those other guys go to our finch feeders and things but the real ones that i'm really excited about are the red poles I love these red poles. This is the common red pole. There's uh, another uh, Hore red pole that comes down. But we're going to see large, large numbers of these birds this winter, according to the forecast, based on food availability. Uh, and then the other guy, of course, as I was talking about, is the siskins. And I had them here today at, at the feeder. So that's a huge, significant sign that we're going to have. So there's a beautiful picture right there of the of the siskin. And these siskins, I love their 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 song. If you listen to this distinct, <laughs> how awesome is that? So be on the lookout for evening grosbeaks, pine grosbeaks, uh, red and red and winged and white winged crossbills, perhaps. Although they're a little variant that might be particular locations. So it's going to be a great year. Anybody that travels to Algonquin Park at all uh, to look at birds in the winter time is going to be a great year for that. But our backyard birding this winter is going to be superb uh, in terms of finches and what have you. So the fly through feeders on a pole system, for instance. Uh, you will get dozens and dozens and dozens of siskins and, and red poles in that. Uh, uh, if some of you may remember some of the video that I did, uh, particularly on our Instagram account of three or four years ago, where we had hundreds 
of pine siskins and red poles here in the yard and I literally mean hundreds. We had three pole systems plus four finch feeders going constantly here and they were just devouring seed like crazy. So we're going to have a, a great winter here. We're super duper looking forward to it. Uh, any comments or questions, by all means, stop in the shop. Leave us a little note here uh, and or send us an email. We'd be happy to help any way we can. Have yourself a great day and get ready for the eruption. Woo! -hoo!